Hey friends and welcome to some more BGC 2020 Pokemon series. So we're going to be, uh, we're just picking up where we left off in our last episode. So we had two battles with the team so far and uh, we've picked up two wins. So we're going to be finishing up with this team today for the week. Uh, at the end of the episode, I will reveal the rental team. If you guys want to check it out and try it out for yourselves, I would definitely recommend it. Gigalith is a great Pokemon and uh, climbing up that ranking like no one's business. And we, I really want to finish a lot higher than we are at the minute. Like I said, on the last episode we had a bit of a fun uh, stream over on twitch and uh, our ranking took a little bit of a pounding but it was a lot of fun in the process so we've got our first opponent of the episode we are running the gothitel excadrill Torkoal, togekiss hitmontop and gigalith team that we were running earlier in the week and our first opponent is running a team of excadrill togekiss Tyranitar, Concordor, Arcanine, and Rotom Mo. So it's a very kind of standard looking team, very strong team. Um, you've got uh, like all the elements that you need in a team to work well, except a water type for that fire water grass core. But you don't necessarily need it. I'm only messing around, but a uh, really solid looking team. Um, we need to watch out for things like Concordor if we do go under Trick Room. Obviously, the Tyranitar puts a lot of pressure on our Trick Room uh, mode setup, especially with. Uh, something like um, Togekiss as a support next to it. So maybe we go with Hitmontop Gothitelle as our kind of lead. Um, and then we can get something like Torkoal as our main trick room kind of abuser in there. Um, and probably Gigalith as well. I think we go Ham on our trick room mode, to be honest. Um... Because Gigalith gives us a lot of support against stuff like Tyranitar, especially if we max our, um, our Gigalith and go down that route. So we'll try this. We'll see how we get on in this first one today against a Diego. Diego. Um, is it bad that I'm stereotyping Diego sitting there with a big handlebar mustache? Mexican mustache. Big Mexican head. <laughs> oh, please let that be. Please let that happen. I should stream with some get up like that. But Diego's probably a lot cooler than my idea of Diego. Anyway, anyway. Square Shiny, Conkledo coming out with that Togekiss. Uh, the Intimidate going to be super helpful here, obviously. Um, it's whether or not we want to set our Trick Room up or if we want to uh, start faking things out. There's a little part of me that thinks potentially the Togekiss is going to max here. Um... We could blind hypnosis, of course. The conquer those probably probs. Um, flame orb as well. So it probably protects, I guess. I mean, one play we could do is fake out the toggle case. It could be completely wasted um, in trick room and try and get Gigalith onto the field. <sighs> Only issue there is then. I mean, yeah, we could do that. We could, we could do that. We could fake out the Togekiss. I re don't really like faking out the Togekiss, though. Let's let's switch into Gigalith here. Uh, we're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to. I don't know what Hitmontop's going to do here. But we are going to see something max. I need to be a bit better with my timings. Especially on this series. I talk way too much. Yeah. So the fake out there with, wasn't the best idea. We should have just went with our, our instinct. But I guess... Let's see what we lock into. Help in hand, probably. Because I think that's a top move. <laughs> there we go. Help in hand trick room. Just to make sure that we get this trick room off. We've got to do it. We've got to give our opponent a little bit of a, um, a heads up. And we're going to lose top. Which is a bit sad. It's a bit sad. But, on the other hand, that Concordeur can't be flame off Because it can't activate it now under the Misty Terrain. And I kind of don't mind losing top to be honest because because we do get a free switch into Tolkol now um, it would kind of indicate that the the Concordia is probably probably a salt fest um, now what do we bring in do we just bring in Gigalith yeah I mean Giggles the Concordia is minus one so it's not gonna be doing huge amounts of damage and Rock Slide will do some nice, nice damage to that Togekiss. It's a shame we can't. 
It's just the problem is whether or not Tyranitar Excadrill's in the back of my opponent. That would be a big problem. Um, but here I'm kind of tempted just to go for the Rock Slide and just a Psychic into the Conqueror. Let's see what we can do. Uh, and we'll be able to gauge what kind of Conqueror this is from the Psychic damage that we throw out right now. Max Guard coming out. We might might be lucky and get a, a, a tasty old flinch into the Conqueror. Let's see. So, yeah. I mean, that's not bad damage for resisted. There's a Drain Punch. Yeah, that's a big damage. That's not the kind of damage we want to be seeing. Uh, it's going to restore all that damage we've done back there. Um, let's see. Is it a Soul Fest? No. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, a Rock Slide probably takes it down now, and Gigalith in going down to a, a Mac Punch, and we could go for a Blind Hypnosis into the Tory Kiss, which I'm really tempted to do, because if we can hit it... Obviously, it's it's not grounded, so it's not affected by the, the terrain, so we can actually get... Yeah, there's a Mac Punch. That's fine. Now, the Rock Slide... No! We need to hit. We need to hit this hypnosis now. The rock slide missing. We hit. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> now the problem begins because the Mac Punch will take uh, a Gigalith down now, which is not ideal. Um, hmm. We don't have protect on gig gigs. Um, but we could bring in Torkoal. That could definitely be an option for us, just to take the Mac Punch. Pity we haven't got something like um, Ally Switch here, which would be a little bit helpful. But then again, the Mac Punch would be going off before the Ally Switch in the same priority bracket, so it wouldn't really help us too much here. Um, but we'll try and preserve at least our Gigalith for a little bit later on um, and not let it go down to. Uh, to a Mac Punch, which is undoubtedly what's coming out now, I'd imagine. I do see a Drain Punch, but I wouldn't have thought so. Ulrich gets asleep, and... The issue is, I think now, if the, the Teats are in the back, which I'd imagine it is, it does make it a little bit more difficult for us to, um, to get going with our, uh, our Talk Ball, although we can Max. We can max. Oh, it is Arcanine. Okay. Hmm. Arcanine. Um. We just go for an eruption in a psychic. We could go for. Well, we can't. Mm. Yeah, I think we just get rid of. I think we just get rid of the the Togo kiss. We just eruption. We'll get some decent damage onto the Arcanine anyway. What's the Arcanine gonna do though? Snow. Probably going to attack into um, to Gothitelle. We do see a follow me here, and that's I know fine. Um, yeah, I'd imagine the Arcanine probably attacks like Flare Blitz into the Gothitelle, but maybe end of the sun we take it, maybe not. Who knows? Alright, there's this. Is this a Citrus? I've got a feeling maybe. Excadrill's my opponent's last Pokemon. Ooh, it's a crunch. Ah. Well, I think a fire type attack would have been the better option there, like in all honesty. Um, but we can still max with Torkoal, so we're not even in the worst position if Ex Oh, it's Rotom. Ha! Huh. I am so surprised. Excadrill or Titar didn't come in on this match. I really am. Um Yeah, I think we just max. Like, there's no reason for us not to here. Uh, we're going to lose Gothitelle, whatever. I mean, let's try and get a Trick Room. If we can get a Trick Room, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I think we just Max Flare into the Rotom. And I think we, because we've got a Dynamax turns now, it kind of makes things a little bit easier for us to close this one up. I was so convinced that Excadrill Titar would be in the back. I don't know why he wouldn't bring Tyranitar against this sort of team. Even Excadrill as well, because like it's not like we've got uh, 
a Rhyperia to utilize in Trick Room. But, um, okay, we're going to see a player rough. We might be able to get... We, I think we're going to be able to get a Trick Room up. This is insane. Like, Diego, why are you letting us do this? Um, but they might have thought we were going for a, something else. Um, I guess, so we can't really... Gothitelle could protect. Let's give Diego the benefit of the doubt here. Um, but now it, it's 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 over. It's it's really 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 over. Uh, Max Flare. Let's see. He's gonna take Arcanine out from half in the sun. I'd imagine we probably do. But even if not, we've got Psychic to back us up, so uh, we'll be able to at least kick off this one with a win, which is quite nice for us to do. And uh, I think it kind of just goes along the lines of Sean, how strong Trick Room is as an option. I know I said it at the end of our last episode, um, but I am totally on the Trick Room train. I think it's such a, a team. Oh, we don't want to look at Diego's team. No offense, Diego, but we've not got time for that in this episode. I think it's just such a good team archetype. It's so strong. And I think like plenty of teams can have countermeasures to it, but... If you can't stop it, I don't know what you do if you're not set up well enough, especially for board positions where you've got something like Gigalith coming out next to Togekiss or Toko Gigalith on the field. It's it just like those Pokemon make it really, really difficult um, to kind of combat against. But we've got our next opponent. This looks a little bit tricky because this is Gothitelle. This is Durant. Durant always scares me. Tyranitar. Then the Sylvian, Arcanine, and the Rotom Wash. So, mm. it doesn't look too Trick Room orientated from my my opponent. I think if we can get our Trick Room up, we can do a lot of work against this team. Like, board position, Trick Room up with Tokol and Gigalith on the field. It does a lot, a lot for us. It's just whether or not we want to... I'd imagine my opponent probably leads Gothitelle and Durant. Now it's whether or not we want to, because uh, there's no way Gothitelle, even minus one, is going to take a max move from um, Durant. So it's whether or not we want to go Togekiss and Gothitelle, and then uh, Togol and Gigalith in the back. I think that's probably our best kind of way to go around this. Because there's always the option of going for him on top uh, and Gothitelle, but... <sighs> I think the follow me and sacking Togekiss is probably our best option, if I'm honest. And then we get Torkoal in, we can deal with the Durant pretty easily. Uh, if we can get Gigalith onto the field, we've got Iron Head as well that can deal with the Sylvian, uh, the Tyranitar. And if we want, we've got Rock Slide, I guess, that we can go for um, the Arcanine. And the Rotom Wash isn't too much of a problem as long as we've got our Sun up with. Uh, with Paul Cole. Or we can max with it again. I guess we've got plenty of options, but we aren't going to see that. So we are going to see my opponent lead off with the Rotom and the Gothitelle. The issue with this is that we can't we can't switch out our Togekiss. So I don't think I really want to waste a max move here. Uh, I think I do want a Trick Room. The problem is <laughs> the opposing Gothitelle reverse in a Trick Room. Of course. Um, so we could potentially hypnosis the gothitelle but we want to try and remove the gothitelle as, as best we can uh and we could yawn i'm gonna yawn the rotom because i've got a feeling the rotom might max yeah the beast ball rotom it's pretty nice i like it risky though you only get the one beast ball unless it's from a previous game which it might be, now that we do have home. Mm, I don't think Togekiss is even going to get an attack off now. Yeah, and the fake out's pretty useless after the helping hand. Max Lightning, this will, this will chunk our Togi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, well, well. Huh. Mm. 
we could bring I think Tokol is probably the better option here now this this is pretty like this position is really awkward for us because do we go for the trick room now um because I think my opponent's got a couple of options they help in hand max geyser into gothitel to try and take it out i like it won't take it out so they've got a max lightning into gothitel to take it out or or they go for trick room themselves to reverse our trick room <sighs> we got hypnosis into the rotom that could be a play as well um, but then we don't have a trick room. We need a trick room. We really do. Uh, I'm going to go trick room. And I'm going to max. And I'm going to go into the, the goth. Because I think if we can remove the gothitel, it means that we've got a little bit of a better shot to get our trick room up. But I've got a horrible feeling that we're going to see Max Geyser to get the rain up. But we'll be able to overwrite that. We're just not going to be able to remove the gothitel this turn. Do anything, but if we can get a trick room up, it does put us in a little bit better of a spot. Max darkness now. Okay, I think they're gonna reverse the trick room. Yeah, it's into goth as hell. Yeah, they're going trick room. We're going trick room. Special defense falling. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, psychic. Huh. We should take this. Maybe they don't have Trick Room then. Can this get rid of the Gothitelle? It doesn't really matter too much because now we're good, we've got a Trick Room up. This is kind of alright because we can go for a Blind Hypnosis. I'm going to have to go for a Blind Hypnosis into the Rotom. Um, do we go... The problem is... Actually, we probably are better off going for a Psychic into the Gothitelle. And then go for max overgrowth into the Rotom. Just get damage. We're not going to be taking down the Rotom. Uh, but we need to start getting damage onto it. And then imagine if the Gothitel has... Wow. Wow. That does nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Hopefully we can take down this Gothitel. If it does try to go for the reverse of Trick Room, we'll get our Psychic off first. Yeah, and this will be enough to take it down. So we stop that. Do we see a max lightning? Uh, it's going to hurt whatever hits us because we've got the minus one special defense. Max Geyser. I mean, we've got the sun up, so it does help us a little bit. But, okay, it's into Gothitelle. Don't mind this at all because it means we do get we do get Giglith in now. Um, okay, we might be all right. We might be all right because Rotom now, I think that's its last turn of Dynamax, right? Let's see if we can claw our way back out of this one. I feel like we can still do this. Okay, Arcanine coming in. It's fine. Arcanine's the Pokemon we want to see. <laughs> the Pokemon we want to see. Um, and we've got the grassy terrain up now. So I'm, I'm Max. Grass is boosted at least. So we should, like a rock slide. Rock slide and yeah, we should get the Rotom. Can we just lock into Rock Slide? I mean, we have to, really. And hopefully we can flinch the Arcanine. Max Overgrowth. Into Rotom. This is our last turn. This is our last turn of Dynamax. But it's not the worst. I don't think it's I don't think it's too bad. I, I think we'll, we'll be alright. So, ooh, Arcanine I'm going to switch straight back out. I don't mind this because it means we're getting big damage onto whatever comes in. Other than the uh, the good old um, Tyranitar, which is going to chunk chunk a rock slide pretty easily. We do get the max overgrow. Yeah, this is where Earthquake would have been a little bit better locking into, but we still got Trick Room turns, so it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just we can't get our Sun back up, which would have been which would have been really nice. But I think taking down the Rotom may have been a little better and I don't know unless the Tyranitar's got superpower I don't really know how they've got re a, a, a really effective way to deal with with Giggly we are minus two but still we, we're still going to be hitting hard that's the thing 
It's just a pity our sun isn't up. Hmm. Okay. In terms of trick room, we've got left. Info. Let's have a look. We have two turns of trick room. Okay. We are locked into rock slide, so we've got no option there. Um, do we just go for a big eruption? I mean, it's our most powerful attack right now, so it probably makes more sense to. Both my opponent's Pokemon resist it, but I mean, just damage at this point is going to be better. And we've also got the flinch chance as well. It still does respectable damage to both. We do hit. Can we flinch? We still do big damage to that Arcanine. I think we can still do this, you know. If we get flinches here, if we get a double flinch here, I think the game's locked. I think that's it. But we'll see. No flinch. Rock slide, but still alright. Coco, and what we're going to see the Arcanine do? Will O Wisp. Okay. Totally neutering. <laughs> Poor Giggly. Like minus four now. We can still do this. We still got Heat Wave. <laughs> Still got heat weird with with that a little talk call uh, and I still think a rock slide and a heat wave might be enough to get the Arcanine and then we might be able to still deal with the, the Tyranitar. Depends like have they got protect? Okay. Like the flinch there would have been like icing on the cake for us. Still we still got a chance to do this though. Let's see. I mean, a burn here from my heat wave would be amazing. There's the protect from the t -tar. That makes sense. Um, let's see if... Oh, uh, double protect. Okay. That, that's... Yeah. Okay. So at least we know they've got protect. Now, what are we going to see from the Tyranitar? Is it going to just rock slide? I think probably goes for rock slide. Fishing for those flinches. Um... The Arcanine is going to struggle to damage anything on our side of the field. We could protect with Torkoal. Um, but is, is the Rock Slide. I don't think the Rock Slide alone is going to be enough to get the Arcanine. But then that might just give us enough room. Because two Rock Slides would definitely get the Arcanine. Just whether or not the, the, the Tyranitar goes for a superpower or not, that's the big crux of it, I think. But do you risk going for it right now? I don't think you do. I think if we protect Torkoal, I think that's the best, best play. And then we've got a little bit more room. I think they go Rock Slide. Problem is, again, like, we're on the receiving end of it this time. Like, flinches could be a thing. Let's touch some wood to totally not get the, uh, the anything. And just make sure that we get our... Rock slide off because I think that's what we're going to see. Rock slide from the T tar. Yeah. Giggle the void. Come on. Okay. Right. We just need one more into that Arcanine and we'll get it. Um, and I think we probably will take one more rock slide from the Tyranitar with our Torpho. The grassy terrain kind of getting rid of the chip damage from the sandstorm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And I think, yeah, because if we can get rid of the Arcanine now, it kind of forces a position where my opponent has to choose between Rock Slide or Gong for the Super Power into the Gila. Um, and we'll go for the, the Heat Wave. <sighs> let's see. Snarl does connect. That's fine. Oh, that might have knocked Torkoal down into Rock Slide range, you know. I think it probably has. To be honest, I didn't think it would be doing as much. Okay. Yeah. So we need not to be... We need not to flinch. And we need to get... Okay, we do. I don't think we're going to be able to take... Yeah, we're not... I don't think we're going to take a superpower. So we've got it really close, but not close enough. The sandstorm does subside. Grassy terrain has left the field now. So we've just got the burns. And a superpower is probably going to be enough to take us down and a rock slide minus two and burnt we've got no way against this this tower at all so my opponent's done well a really neutering gigalith identifying it as a big threat they might not have superpower so what have we seen we've seen crunch we've seen rock slide have we seen crunch or is that a previous t-tar that we've played it might not have superpower 
If we could only change moves, we could win this. Choice band, how it there's a superpower, of course. Yeah, just making sure with that extra chip. And good game to my opponent. Um, ah, hmm. If we'd maybe went for our trick room a little bit sooner, I think. And I think maybe Togekiss really in hindsight probably wasn't the best Pokemon to bring. Um, and Hitmontop would have been a lot more useful. But then again, like we're in against Gothitelle, Rotom, we wouldn't have been able to switch top out. Although if we'd taken an attack from um, the Rotom, then the eject button activates. We would have been, yeah, maybe maybe it was the better choice. I think probably in hindsight, it definitely would have been. So like I promised my friends, uh, I did say that I would create a rental team at the end of the week. So yeah. not too bad. I mean, we finished three and one with this team this week. So it's not too bad. We'll be back with another team next week as we are doing at the minute. Um, manage teams you're renting. Um, no, I don't want to manage teams. Manage teams to share. So we want to, where is it? Where are you? Is this how we do it? So this is the one, you select a battle team, make it public. So here we go. And you guys can take this rental team and play it and test it out if you'd like. I would definitely recommend testing things like Gigalith if you haven't already, testing him on top as well. Um, and Gothitelle, they're all very good Pokemon in this format and there are a lot of Pokemon to test and play around with but um, I've had a lot of fun with them so far. It's strange that we've not really used the extra drill too much, I think we use it in one game of the four that we've had this week but um, I think most of the things on this team fit together really nicely. Tolkol, I still think is personally a really good Pokemon and uh, I... Yeah, I have a lot of time for talk all. So have fun with the team, my friends. As always, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, always, like always, leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel out. It helps the video out as well. Um, let's the algorithm, YouTube, know that people like this video and to promote it. To spread the word of VGC. That's what we want. Um, and do subscribe because I do VG content. I do general Pokemon content, I do guides on Pokemon content, so all the Pokemon content. Um, do subscribe for more content. Pokemon content. If I can say that again without, without annoying, I'm probably annoyed enough people to be like, I'm not subscribing to this guy. Um, but no, I'm just going to end it here. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. IC is on this weekend, the Australian International Championships, so do catch that. I'll be on the po official Pokemon Twitch um, stream over the weekend starting Friday and uh, it'll be a lot of fun and it'll be great to see what teams come out of there we'll probably approach some of the teams discuss that next week and uh, until then have a good one friends take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you all for the next one until then take care and bye bye